here at Atomo headquarters where they are making molecular coffee. This startup says that they've reverse engineered the coffee bean and that their process will be more sustainable long term. What we do is we take upcycled ingredients, so these are waste stream products that are normally discarded by farmers, and we take those ingredients and we find compounds in those ingredients that we can use in, to contribute to the flavor and the aroma and the body and the mouthfeel of coffee. So we're taking upcycled ingredients and naturally derived sustainable ingredients and using that as our base for our coffee. Atomo went to Kickstarter in February and raised $25,000. Then Horizon Ventures, the backer of Impossible Foods, came in with $2.6 million in a funding round. Now, you're probably all wondering what's in it. The, co the company keeps things very close to the vest um, in their manufacturing process as well as their ingredients. They're calling it intellectual property. But a few things that they did share with us of those upcycled ingredients. Uh, agricultural products including sunflower seed husks, watermelon seeds, acacia gum, yerba mate for the caffeine. Yes, guys, there is caffeine in this. And I would love to hear what you think. We had to put this to the test before I actually tell you what I think. I know there's some on set, and I would love to hear what you two uh, does the, make Does it, the guys. coffee, I see it in, in piles there, does the coffee smell like coffee, Kate? It does. So they're still working to perfect the grounds for hot brews right now. They have cold brews. That's what they're planning to send out on their Kickstarter uh, come January okay. to the people who paid for that online. The, the grounds do smell like coffee. They have a faint smell. They want to work to perfect it so that that smell is actually stronger because, you know, for a lot of people, coffee is a ritual. You want yeah. the aroma. That's a big part Sometimes of it. Sometimes the smell is better than the taste. Now, I have here, too, it's a blind, uh, these cold brews. This it's is a blind, blind taste test. We uh, don't know. I don't know either. You don't know. We don't know. Test. This we'll is yeah. one, no, one, number one and number two. We don't know which is which. One is a leading brand. The other is mm -hmm. the uh, Atomo. Uh, Atomo coffee. I'm going to taste this. This is cold coffee. Mm -hmm. Here we go. It's black coffee. Taking sip number mm. two. <laughs> Taking right, it very seriously. Here we go. I'm taking it seriously. I've, <laughs> I've had coffee every day since I was in second grade. Do you need a palate, need a palate, you need a palate cleanser in between? I need a palate cleanser, yes. <laughs> I need a uh, shot of tequila. <laughs> well, that's close. Really? Uh, that's close. I am going to guess that number two is the Atomo. But I... No. I think I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Number aren't one I? is the Atomo. Number I'm one is the Atomo. It was very, very I'm being close. Told that you are wrong, Tyler. Sorry. It's very close. So what's interesting, guys? We took this. We took this out uh, into the street and did a blind taste test with people up against a leading cold brew, just what you had. And seven in ten people actually chose Atomo. They liked the taste of it, but all of them remarked that it tasted a little sweeter than the cost, other cold. Does it cost a lot more? Which was interesting. We're working on it because we have a big. Mm. Uh, they did not reveal the price. They're calling it the most expensive cup of coffee ever because of all the testing and R&D that they've put into it. <laughs> um, their Kickstarter campaign, as we mentioned, raised $25,000. So that'll be the first batch right. of people who get this. They're hoping to have it in retail stores later in the summer. I think I would have gotten it right guys. if I had drunk number two first and then come back to number one. Yeah. Number Now that I go back to number one, it... it, it <laughs> It tastes. Uh, we can try it again. I'll, I'll mix the numbers. Yeah, up I'll finish them. Uh, yeah. Break. I'll be... <laughs> All right, Kate. Thanks.